Hey guys, it's Nathan from the Kentucky Cycling YouTube channel. We're in Berea, Kentucky today at the Indian Fort parking lot for the Berea Pinnacles, and we're going to do a ride on the Berea Multi-Use Trails. If you're a long-term viewer of the channel, you may be aware that I've already actually done a previous ride on the trails, but the trail system has expanded since then. So I'm gonna go ahead and include a link to the ride we did originally, which we started at the Berea Artisan Center, rode from the Berea Artisan Center out to this point, and then back for a total of about 14 miles. Today, we're gonna do what I'm calling the Berea Multi-Use Trail Full Monty route and I'll include a route link in the YouTube description uh, so you can make use of that if you'd like. I'm gonna really show uh, how a small town in Kentucky has created a lot of connectivity via multi-use trails. And so the total ride here is gonna be about 19 and a half miles, all but about half a mile of which are gonna be on multi-use trail and we'll uh, go through a variety of settings. It'll encompass everything that we rode previously, but there's been a new bypass that's been created here and they've got a trail basically that runs along the majority of that new road. It'll include that as well. There'll be some out and back, so we'll actually uh, go out to a little industrial park. We'll go along a main road uh, in section. So in some sections, it won't be the most scenic, but it'll basically show you uh, the bulk of what is actually out here today. And they're still developing trail here. So really cool work that Berea, uh, City of Berea has been doing. Uh, and, and I'm sure there's a lot of other partnerships involved, but uh, to create this multi-use trail system. Really looking forward to getting back out here and riding. All right, guys, so this is trail begins right at one edge of the Pinnacles parking lot here. And you can see that this is a multi-use trail. So you want to call out and, you know, do all, all the kind of rules that you want to do here. But one thing I want to point out is that you could easily start this route at the other end of the trail and ride from the Artisan Center if you wanted to. Hey guys, so we've just come from the, I think what they basically call the Pinnacle you know, Connector. And this is the new bypass, which goes up to Shortline Pike. So the trail used to just go left here along Shortline Pike, but you can see heading out in front of us is a bunch of additional multi-use trail all along the bypass. So when we come back this direction, we'll actually come back that way. And in part, because you get the mountain view in front of you. So it's actually a lot more scenic to come that way. But here we're gonna go left onto the short line pike like that we've come up a uh, short line pike and the trail crosses right here at short line pike and then you can see that there's an easement across all these properties down here to the beginning of the john stevenson trail guys what i want to point out here is that this is part of us bike route 21 which is the uh boone daniel boone bike route and so part of what we're gonna ride along here is a section of the old boone trace so this is really cool guys so we are ending the john b stevenson loop this is Berea municipal utilities here and we are going to go left but you could just as easily go right and this makes a loop just a loop around they call it Berea municipal utilities loop and we're going to go over to our first little break in the trail but it's a real short section along a quiet street and then pick up some additional uh, trail and you can see here's a dog park here All right, so you can see the trail goes on around and just makes a loop, but we're going left right here to make a connection. Hello And we're on Silver Creek Drive headed to Prospect Street. Hey guys, so we've come up Silver Creek 
Drive and we're gonna cross over Prospect. This is a little busier street, so you just wanna exercise some caution. But we're gonna go right onto the multi-use trail right here in front of the Dollar General and go up Prospect Street to Berea College. Uh, yeah, State Highway 21 also acts as US Bike Route 76, which is the Transamerica Trail. So occasionally if you're riding along this path, you may see a touring cyclist uh, coming towards you and they may be riding across the country. We'll climb here up to the college. All right, guys, so we are up at uh, Berea College, and there's a little short section here where we're just riding along a section of the sidewalk. Obviously, for this section, make sure you're yielding to pedestrians. I mean, do that anytime, but especially here. Uh, it may be occasion where it's busy and you may need to just kind of get off your bike and walk for a section. But we're just gonna cross here on Chestnut Street and then go down this sidewalk. And right down there, the uh, sidewalk opens up again and becomes multi-use trail. And we're gonna head out on the BB White Bikeway out towards the Artisan Center. You see the sidewalk gets wider right through here and becomes the BB White Bikeway, which is, again, sort of multi-use sidewalk until you get to the bottom of the hill here and then basically becomes looking like uh, asphalt trail again but we're still on Berea College's campus. Very pretty. So we're passing Berea Community School. This is a K through 12 independent school district here in town. And just beyond this uh, school, there's gonna be a connector out to Berea City Park. So we're gonna go and ride and do a little loop out there. Taking a left-hand turn here onto the Berea City Park Trail. Here's some baseball fields over here to our left. We're just making a little loop, lollipop if you will, up into uh, Berea Community Park. And if memory serves, there's a little dip on this trail. It's kind of a big dip, so you might want to take a little slow as you're going through here. But it's pretty back here. In a quarter mile, turn sharp left. This is the dip. Woo. Draper Tower over here on the right, which is used to symbolize Berea College a lot. So we just came across this bridge and you absolutely could go right here and there's a lot of little trails that can be explored through here, particularly if you have kids and want to go slower and kind of take your time. It might be a nice area to explore, but we're just going to make a little lollipop and go down this really scenic uh, section here beside this creek. Hello. All right, so we're ending the uh, Berea City Park Trail and continuing north on the B.B. White bike trail. I'm on a railroad crossing here and they've got the traditional kind of push you one way and then back towards the track trying to get you to make sure that you're looking to see that a train is not coming. So we will again look both ways, but the trick here is you want to ride as perpendicular as you can as to not get your tires caught in the tracks. So here is the Kentucky Artisan Center and we are going to just take the left hand turn here which is a connector trail to the Artisan Center. Just go check that out. 
Uh, it is right off of I-75, and if you've never been here before, sells lots of Kentucky crafts, and actually it has some food options, has uh, nice restrooms, and place to refill your water bottle, and of course, uh, lots of parking. So this would be one place that you could actually start your ride if you were coming up the interstate. So I, I've called that out on the map. But we're just gonna take a, a, a lap through the lot here and then get back on the connector trail. So we're back on the connector trail and we're gonna take a left up here to continue north on the uh, BB White Trail and go out to the industrial park just to kind of show you that area. So we've come right up this path and you can see there's I-75 that is Berea exit 77 I believe and we're going to use the crosswalk here to cross over and pick up the uh, trail on the other side. So we are coming up on the northern terminus of the multi-use path here, which is the BB White Bikeway, and basically the end of the currently developed industrial park here in Berea. So again, not particularly scenic, but cool to have this uh, path come all the way out here. And just for reference, we are almost exactly 10 miles into our ride. So now we're gonna head back to the south and we're gonna go all the way up to the base of Berea College to Ellipse Street and over to US 25 to ride some new section of trail over there. So we're headed back to the south now and we're here on a Saturday. So there's no uh, business happening out here. So it's actually really quiet. And you can see we've got the mountains out in front of us. So that's gonna be a theme later on in this video after we do our, uh, we're gonna basically head south back towards Berea College cut over again to 25 and go north. But once we get back out on the new bypass, we'll have some uh, very scenic uh, riding along that bypass out back towards the Pinnacles. All right guys, so we have literally just come up back up the BB White Bikeway. So here's Bria Community School over here again. We've got Bria College back to the right. We are gonna go on a little break in the trail here onto Ellipse Street. So we're gonna just, you, you were using the crosswalks to cross and we're gonna ride this little section. It's less, less than a uh, probably quarter of a mile, if that, down to where the next section of trail. So we've just come up Ellipse Street and here's the intersection and we're going to use this crosswalk and head right up 25. So you can see this isn't super attractive, but I think it's super cool that they have this here to make a connection for uh, folks who need to get to shopping and businesses and whatnot. All right guys, so we've come up to the end of the multi-use trail on 25 and we're gonna turn right to follow along the bypass and head out back towards the Pinnacles. But one thing I wanted to point out here is you see this thank you for exploring Berea sign with the mountain biker on here. As the crow flies right over here, Berea has paid to uh, develop 
a, uh, a, a really nice uh, tr mountain bike trail system called Silver Creek Bike Park. So I'll include a link uh, to that video if you want to check out a riding tour of that. Uh, but these guys are all in, man. They, they've got uh, the, the mountain bike trail system. They've got all this multi-use trail. And of course, you can come to Berea to hike uh, the Pinnacles as well as other destinations as well. So anyway, we're going to head on back towards the Pinnacles and hope you enjoy the scenery. As always, we hope you found this content useful. If you did, please like the video and consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks.